Hello, hello, hello. Ramblin' Man Moto here. It's uh, supposed to be a clear, sunny, breezy day. So I'm heading out on a ride. In my mind, I'm thinking I'm heading, heading to the western part of the state. A little past Skyline Drive to ride State Route 42. And I'm going to see if my will will carry me that far. So I had an issue with my modular showy helmet. I uh, removed the internal visor. Well, that internal visor has always felt a little gritty, is the way I describe it. And um, but it wasn't that big of a deal. And but I've I wanted that internal visor to be darker. And I saw some people on some forums said they got theirs tinted. Well, I checked with two different tinting places and I had removed the helm uh, the internal visor to take it with me on one of these visits and they told me that and they tested it while I was there they said it wouldn't stick because of the material said so nothing they can do with it so when I went back when I went back to put the internal visor on the uh, mechanism on the uh, that raises and lowers it just wouldn't work. It just broke. It, and when I googled it, people were talking about how you had to disconnect. Uh, people talked about rather that you had to uh, remove all the foam and then there's some glue-like cover in the top of the helmet where there's a wire connecting the little doohickey device on the right, the handle and it gets clumped up or something. And I'm like, I'm not doing this. This helmet is less than a year old. And um, then I also found that the thing on the right was bent. And that's probably the gritty feeling I was feeling. But I bought the helmet new. So I got in touch with Showy, but I also got in touch with Revzilla, because that's where I bought it from. Revzilla responded in one day with the return authorization said they would take a look at it first and then send it on or coordinate with Showy somehow about whether it could be repaired. I'm not sure they're making that helmet at all anymore because they've come out now with a new one. Showy to the same email took about four business days to get back to me. Basically wanted me to complete a bunch of questions before they would authorize a return. So I ended up going to Revzilla. In fact, I had already shipped it and Revzilla had already received it in the time it took Showy to send me a list of questions. And I sent them both the same email, same photographs. So good on Revzilla, like dealing with those guys. We'll see what comes out in the wash. I'm hoping it's just a simple I'm hoping it's just a simple repair for them. I'm using the backrest today. I've been riding without it. And each time I've been on this a longer trip, it's hit me that maybe I should give it another go. So the thing is, if I don't like it, I can easily throw it in my um, saddlebag. And what I find, I didn't have this issue with the Corbins. I never really noticed it, but on the Ultimate, the backrest feels like it really pushes my whole butt forward and so I sit differently when it's on. It's the damnedest thing because when I had the Corbin, which I have on my other bike, I don't know, maybe I'm just being unfair in the comparisons, but my butt definitely sits more forward, which I'm doing right now on this bike. To the point, I'm not even sure I like having it on. But we'll see how I feel later in the trip. Rambler Man here. Well, I think I messed up getting to Route 48. I should have uh, downloaded uh, the map and info to my phone. Instead, I left it in the cloud. And I can't reach it from here easily. I took 33 all the way west. And it should have hit me that at some point I needed to start going north 
because right now I'm right back where I usually go to the middle of Skyline Drive and I needed to be at the top is what I was aiming for and I always forget whether that's Waynesboro or something else so now I think I may take Skyline Drive up and uh, see if I can connect to 48 and bring it back down just a little more riding than I bargained for How you doing? Well, how are you? I'm okay. Rambling man here, I goofed up. I meant to go north earlier to take 48 back down. And that didn't happen. So I've been sitting here looking at maps trying to figure out whether I want to bail on Skyline Drive and work my way to one of the entrances for Highway 48 or not. And I think what I'm going to do, it's going to be a lot of riding, but I think I'm going to ride north on Skyline Drive. I think that's the uh, Front Royal entrance that I'll be heading toward. Then take 48 South. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, so I'm going to take this north to Front Royal, you know, to backtrack and get on something quicker. Just take too long right now. I don't want to do it. And this is pretty. Not what I had planned to do. Someone recommended that State Route 48, so I want to check it out. And I don't know when I'm going to be out this way again.
think like a bug or something got into my helmet through the vents or something. Eh. I have a feeling I may end up not doing 48 today. I think I might try to solicit someone to ride with me and make that kind of a day, full day trip and do more of it and be intentional about it. I messed up today. See, the temperature has dropped, at least as recorded on the bike, by 10 degrees from when I was, uh, before I got on Skyline Drive and then worked my way up. And I can definitely feel the difference through this uh, perforated jacket. you could see more of the valley and the mountains the entire time you're out and so these quick little overlook things I am trying to determine if folks are interested in these uh, rides with little chat, I call them. I'm just kind of soaking it up and uh, re recording it for you shut-ins who can't get out right now. Uh, or maybe you're trying to s determine if you want to ride a particular ride. Uh, sometimes I, d I don't really chat on a ton on these videos. and I'm wondering if people want the uh, silence filled in with chatter about what I'm seeing or what I'm doing or what's on my mind or do you just prefer to see the ride?
baby fawn season. Is that opposed to the adult fawn season? I'm, is that like the ATM machine? I'm confused. Incidentally, on my other YouTube channel, which is uh, trail cams from around our property, we just had our first sightings of fawns. Looked like one mom had twins. And then um, there was a second one that had one. And there's also a bear spotting, a big bear for us. Big bear for uh, our property at least, I'll put it that way from what I've seen. Let's see. I've stayed there a couple of times and then more than a couple at the other one that's Skyland Lodge uh, as a kid and as an adult I brought my own kids there one time as well something to do once in your life I'm going to see how my stamina is doing when I uh, finish this to determine if I'm going to ride home or if I'm going to uh, get on Route 48 for a longer ride today. I wish these slower vehicles would 
take an overlook, let people pass. But nope. getting a hint. Good for them. You think two will? Nope. Not gonna happen.
one of my hesitations in stopping was that RV pulled out that I passed and he'll be chugging his long way along slowly here but I might need to pull over for a uh, stretch and bathroom visitation period Probably uh, the RV probably couldn't be worse than this, but the view isn't very good. That would have been a good stop right there. This big old parking lot. Maybe they could have uh, taken that. People riding their brake. I remember uh, when I was maybe in high school or just out, I had a a Mazda pickup truck and I drove that up here with a buddy one time and um, I was braking like these folks are doing in my truck and man the brakes got hot like weren't really working really well on the way down and uh, I learned the value of using uh, engine braking and gears look at Indian right there don't know where he was maybe he was on his bathroom visitation but uh, that was like I think I might have been the same bike as mine different color I've still been considering bike names and being that this is an Indian I'm leaning toward Kalaja but I don't know if that sounds good to say I'm going out to ride Carl Lodger. <laughs> the wooden Indian uh, female didn't have a name in that song, right? Lodger was a wooden Indian standing over by the door. Fell in love with Choctaw Maiden. That's what. Here's Scully and Lodge. Fell in love with a Choctaw maid. They call it Choctaw. <laughs> uh, that, I'm sure that's not very original. Maiden. Robert E. Lee named his horse Traveler. There you go, that route. I've been really lucky the previous times I've been out here. I haven't had uh, much of this. 
I mean, they're just doing their job and drive, probably driving the speed limit, but I just haven't had much of it. Been lucky. A lot of it, I guess, I come out on weekdays. This is a Friday. Right now, I'm riding this on a Friday. Put my binoculars on my bike. It'd be fun. Really wish I could fly my drone here, but the all knowing federal government says that it is not allowed. third sounded a little bit off for third I'll know it when I see it. You know, even though I've ridden this but I don't know why, I don't really remember the overlooks and which ones are better. I've been trying to take mental notes. I should probably look that up before I come so I know which ones I want to stop at next time. Get some photos. Remind me to look at the overlooks for Skyline Drive. Remember. 
river. Is this route? I thought I went the other way last time. Deep hill here. Whew. <laughs> that damn front brake almost got me again. I gotta work on that. That was a steep hill with a slight angle. With a hard look trying to see to the right if anything was coming. probably put on the navigation soon kind of size up how much further and I might need to stop to swap out uh, memory cards on the um, GoPro haven't eaten all day it's about 2 15 almost I don't tend to eat a lot when I'm out riding um, but I could go for a little something if I do 48 the speed limit for much of that is 55 and I'm thinking about riding it down to Harrisonburg and then um, probably taking the interstate home maybe, or at least for part of it. even going the speed limit which is low it's a low speed limit area we're not even going that I was thinking about stopping there for my all I need is a privacy and a good tree
you can't tell, I'm still a bit uncomfortable with curves and when to use proper braking and when to use just engine braking. I watch videos galore, but it's not something I can practice a whole lot. Get my bearings straight here. Maybe I'll pull over here. Maybe there's a bathroom over here. 